Oh my goodness gamers, in this video I'm going to show you why you should use Elytra Predict Terrain on 2B2T and why it's worth playing around with it and messing with the setting. So here I am on the Neg Neg Highway about 25k out. Now let's say I'm going to negative 100k, negative 100k, nether. Let's go. Alright, so here we are Elytra flying. What's going on here? Our red path is jumping all over the place. We're backtracking constantly. We're not making good progress. The reason is because Elytra Predict Terrain is off. I have it default to off because, you know, it's even worse when you, it's on with the wrong seed. So let's see what, what that looks like. Whenever you run the Elytra command and you're on 2B2T, it detects like, oh, it looks like you're on 2B2T, and it suggests two possible seeds. These are the most common seeds for the, the nether. Let's try the newer seed. We've set that to that, and we also need to turn on Elytra Predict Terrain True. Great. So now, this red line, it's no longer a straight line going way off into the distance. You can see it's wiggly even way further than our render distance. That's because it's predicting the terrain all the way forwards using that seed that we just told it to use. However, that seed is still wrong, because uh, this is very old terrain, because we're not that far away from other zero zero, and we are on an axis diagonal axis. Uh, so as you can see, this is still bad. In fact, this is even worse than having Elytra predict terrain off um, because it's only flying through areas that are air on both the old seed and the new seed when planning ahead uh, at the boundary. Um, so you don't, you don't, you don't want to do this. So let's run Elytra again. <laughs> you shouldn't run Elytra while flying because it takes a second. Um, we're going to set it to the older seed. Uh, and whenever you click that, it just does it automatically, right? So this one, 146, is the older seed. Uh, sorry, this one, 146, is the newer seed, and this one, minus 4100, is the newer se older seed. Right now, we're using the older seed, and would you look at this? It's not recalculating essentially at all. Like, it's already figured out which way to go. It's planned ahead. It's already figured out all the backtracks. So it... Essentially, it's doing the backtracks ahead of time using the seed. Then when it's actually flying it, it can just skip all the wrong turns entirely. Uh, except for nether fortresses, which um, it's not quite good at predicting yet. Um, it's only figuring out the overall terrain. So check this out, huh? With Elytra Predict Terrain on, with the correct seed, it's just flying beautifully, making great progress. You'd love to see it, except for around nether fortresses, but those are just small things. It's very easy to dodge in a nether fortress. Don't worry about that. But yeah, essentially, if you have Elytra Predict Terrain on, you can get some great behavior, except for player-made structures like that and nether fortresses. It's already got the whole path figured out. It's not going to waste all of its time backtracking. Check out how nice this is. Now, as a comparison, I'm going to turn it off again just to show you. When Elytra Predict Terrain is off, it's just going to assume everything it can't see is air. So check out that wiggle up there. It's just going in a straight line along the diagonal. It has no plan. It has no idea what's coming up next. So as you can see, it's doing a bunch of stupid backtracking. It's going all over the place. It's constantly recalculating its path. This is no good. No good. And sadly, that's actually this is the best we can do in 1.19 chunks. As I was saying earlier, those chunks are unpredictable. They don't have a seed, as far as we can tell. Like there's just there just isn't one. Um, so you have to have Elytra Predict Terrain off there. That's why I have Elytra Predict Terrain defaults to off, because you know I, no matter how much harassment I put in chat, people are not gonna reliably put in the correct seed. So I just have a default to off. But if you care about making it to your destination, oh come on now. <laughs> I need to stop doing that in midair. You shouldn't make it. You shouldn't make it cancel its path while you're still flying. Because if you make it cancel its path while it's still flying, it'll go straight into the wall that you were last looking at. Um, anyway, yeah. So this is why you should turn on Elytra Predict Terrain. Check out how nice this is. No backtracking. No recalc minimal recalculating. It knows exactly where to go. It's making its way towards the destination quickly. You love to see it. Hashtag use Elytra Predict Terrain. Tell your friends.